What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 10 absolutely free brand new jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 10 all the way through to iOS 10.2. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Panorama Papers. Uh, this tweak will allow you to set different wallpapers for the different home screen pages on your device. So as you can see right here, I have different wallpapers again depending on the page that I'm on. And this also includes the widgets page, you know, if you slide over to the side just like this. So it just adds a very nice hint of customization to your device. I really like this one. So to set this up, head over to settings on your device and then open up the Panorama Papers settings. Of course you can enable or disable the tweak. Then you basically have seven different pages that you could customize. So that's the maximum amount. So for each of these sections, you have select image, which allows you to choose from your camera roll. And of course, in order for it to show up properly, just make sure the image is the correct resolution for your device. Oh, and also, unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to use the stock wallpapers. You have to use your camera roll. You could also preview the image just like this, or you could delete the image with the last button. So once you have everything set up, just slide down to the bottom and select respring, and it will take an effect. And once again, this is just a very nice effect that it provides to the device. Now, there's also an additional option with this tweak that allows you to basically have a panoramic wallpaper on your device. Basically, when you go ahead and take a panorama with the camera application on your device, or maybe you just have a widescreen wallpaper in your camera roll, you can basically have that set. So whenever you scroll between your pages, it'll go ahead and just scroll throughout that image. So it's kind of like you're scrolling through a panorama photo, but again, it works basically while you're scrolling through your pages. It's a very cool effect. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to set that up. Uh, in the settings for Panorama Papers, just go ahead and delete any images that you might have. And once everything's cleared out, just go ahead and select the page that you want the middle of your Panorama wallpaper to show up on. Basically, the middle will be wherever you select, and then the rest of the wallpaper will show up on either side. If that makes any sense, hopefully it does. But I'm just going to go ahead and choose the third one. All right, so I just chose the Panorama wallpaper. I'm going to click OK. Uh, then just go ahead and slide down and select respring. All right, so here is the result. So this is basically a panorama of the area that I'm recording in right now. But as you can see here, as I scroll across the pages, you can see it's actually going to, again, just kind of scroll across that actual photo as we scroll through the pages. So this is a very nice effect. You know, if you guys get a really awesome wallpaper, this could look really awesome. Or if you just have a really awesome panorama photo. Now, again, uh, the image will have to be the correct resolution, you know, similar to the other ones, or else it'll show up strange, or there'll be like cut off lines at the edge. Uh, but again, if you guys really find one that works well, this could be an awesome look. And once again, this tweet is called Panorama Papers. Artwork animations allows you to add these cool animations when you go ahead and go back and forward songs on the lock screen. So there's the flip one, as you see right here, different directions. Um, and, you know, basically I have it set it on I have it set on random. So you can see there's a page basically kind of curling up. And again, you could also customize it to one of these specific options that it has in the settings. There's a fade there. And in the preferences for the tweak, uh, you could enable or disable the tweak. You could enable the background animation, and you could actually set your animation. So I have it set on random, but there's various flip bottom, flip top, flip right, flip left, curl down, curl up, and dissolve. So definitely a nice tweak to spice things up. CC Data More will add a cellular data toggle to the control center. You could enable and, dis and disable it just like that. So that's pretty convenient. And also you could 3D touch on it to switch between 2G, 3G, and LTE. So a uh, very you know, well-designed tweak fits into the system pretty good. Share Anywhere allows you to share a picture, share a text, or share a screenshot from anywhere on your device just with a simple activator gesture. I use a double tap on the status bar, and it gives me the option to share a picture quickly, share some text, and share a screenshot. So if I select Share Picture, it'll just allow me to take a photo through this little interface, and then it'll give me various options. I can message the photo, save it to my camera roll, copy, sign a contact, various things like that. And if I select the text, Basically, it'll just provide me with various different ways that I can type. Let's just say message. Then it'll take me to a text sheet where I can compose that. And also for the uh, screenshot, it'll just go ahead and take a screenshot. And then it'll allow me to do various things with it. Again, basically share it, whatever. I guess like message. You see there, it'll compose that for me or just save it. So uh, pretty convenient tweak. Uh, if you guys could jump over to Activator, actually, that's where you want to go ahead and configure this. Just go into anywhere, choose your gesture. Here's a double tap on the status bar, which I have selected for it. Now there's the selector, which I have. There's also the share text and share picture. So you can go straight to either of those options if you just want to do that right from the beginning. And also, whenever you take a screenshot, when you have this tweak installed, it's going to, it'll just allow you to save it like normal, or you could share from here. So that's also pretty convenient and it removes that flash as well and just gives you this interface instead. You could also cancel, which is nice. So it's not automatically going to save it. If it was by accident, you click cancel. Once again, share anywhere. When your notification center is empty, basically it normally just says no new notifications. But Birdhouse allows you to change that to the latest tweet 
of your preferred account. So you can go ahead and put any accounts in there, and it'll just go ahead and show you the latest tweet here. It'll also show you who it's from, of course, as you would probably know, but it also shows you how many retweets and how many favorites. So uh, definitely a very you know practical tweak. If you just want to quickly keep up to date with that, just you know check in there real quick. Uh, go over to settings head over to Birdhouse, and basically just put in the Twitter handle right here, and that's really it. So a uh, very simple tweak, but I definitely like the concept of this. Next up, we have Brightify. This tweak will provide a light mode to the Spotify application, as you can see. So normally this application is dark, but as you can see, this provides a nice white look to it. So if this is something you prefer over a dark theme, definitely check this out. As you can see, it works exactly as advertised. It looks very good. If you guys head over to settings, you have a few things to uh, configure for it. So if you head over to Brightify, of course you can enable or disable it. You can also use the Noctis toggle if the tweak's installed. Now if you guys don't know what Noctis is, it's a dark mode tweak and it also works with Eclipse. So basically when you toggle this, you know, toggle on there, of course the Noctis normally just applies to certain things on the device, but again, tweaks like Eclipse will make the applications enable the dark mode. And this also basically works in conjunction with that as well. So you see it'll turn back to the dark interface as soon as you go ahead and use the Noctis toggle if you have that enabled. So that's a pretty nice feature. Airdrop Disabler will hide the Airdrop panel from ShareSheet. So normally there's this panel here for Airdrop, but if you guys never use Airdrop and you just don't like how much space it takes up, you can install this to hide it. And once again, this only applies to ShareSheets, but uh, again, it gets the job done. Transparent Weather will basically remove the weather effects that show up inside the weather application and replace it with this simple view where it basically just takes in the wallpaper. You can see there the wallpaper that's behind the weather it'll just take that in and basically again remove those effects so if you guys don't like those effects or they're you know causing your device to slow down or the battery to drain quicker you can install this and remove them once again this is called transparent weather screenshot banners will basically alert you whenever you take a screenshot with a banner notification as opposed to the normal flash that you know shows up on your device so as you can see right there take a screenshot just like that i get the banner screenshot saved and also gives me a little preview of the screenshot in the notification just like that so a uh, subtle tweak but you know i think i like that a little bit better than that flash that comes up on the device no lock screen cam will basically disable camera access when you go ahead and slide over from the lock screen so i'm surprised that apple doesn't allow this by default uh, you know some people might just not want to have their camera applications accessible from the lock screen so this tweak provides that functionality all right guys that pretty much wraps up this video hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks if you did make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.